Writing Auxiliary Modules, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from this show, even a little bit, and can spare a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. Today, we're actually gonna write our own modules, auxiliary modules in this case. It's a, the scanner module. And, and most of the modules that I write are all by need. Um, if I look inside of Metasploit, search PHP my admin, I notice that there isn't a PHP login utility, anything to scan and try and authenticate against PHP my admin sites. And I can do this by hand if I want to, but it's kind of a pain in the uh, rear. So I have a PHP my admin site, um, and I want to log into it. Now I can type, you know, continue to type different um, logins, and that's great. Um, but I'd rather have it automated inside of Metasploit. And, and the uh, brute forcing utilities inside of Metasploit is actually pretty cool. So first off, before we start what we're going to do is we're going to look inside of the um, inside of the Metasploit directory. Hopefully this shows up in a second here. For any kind of module that is similar to, um, to what we're trying to do. And why isn't this? There we go. So we're going to go into Metasploit. We're going to go into Modules. And then Auxiliary. Scroll down to scanner, scroll down to HTTP, and we see that we have a bunch of different modules. There's over a hundred different Metasploit modules inside of just scanner HTTP. So I've already gone through a couple and, and kind of looked at which one's a little simpler. Um, there's a bunch of them that use basic auth or NTLM auth. Um, and you kind of want to go right away from that because that's not how PHP my admin works. And how do you know that? Because um, you can um, look at how the protocol works on PHP admin, my admin by doing a couple things. The first is just go and try and follow the TCP stream inside of Wireshark and see how a post request happens. So I've already done that. I've, I've listened on port 8080 or listen or Wireshark um, on port 8080. And you guys have learned from about Wireshark on Hack Tip with uh, Shannon Morris. Um, so if you look in there and you see, here's the post request that happens when I try and log in. And you can see that there's some cookies, there's some exec values, there's all this crazy jazz. And then finally, PMA username, root, PMA password, blank, and there's a token. So that actually failed. Since we're just trying this out and we're trying to write our module, um, that failed. But this is kind of hard to copy and paste and, and um, to get right because you have to start over here instead. And um, Wireshark isn't the best way for HTTP. Um, on, on other protocols, it's a lot better. But for HTTP, I like using burp. So going over to burp, I just sent all the requests through um, the burp proxy. And now you can see a successful login um, on this post request and an unsuccessful login on that post request. So. Um, what we're going to start with is we are going to copy our um, auxiliary module, one that I found that just uses HTTP-based uh, uh, login, over to a directory inside of our .msf4 directory. And if you don't know about M .msf4, go back to our, our, uh, our episode on the directory structures for Metasploit. Um, you'll find that and then a modules directory. So I've created um, inside of that modules directory an auxiliary scanner MSF minute directory. Um, so all you really need is the auxiliary level and then you can set, call it whatever you want, but I like putting it in somewhere where I can find it easy. So we've copied over that uh, PMA login. Now I open that in leafpad and you can see that this is the Dolabar ERP CRM login utility. And the reason I selected it is because it uses the send request CGI with a post request with this login utility. So, and it also has a token. So I'll be showing how that token is important in, a, in the next episode. 
So we have all of the um, required items to start on this module. Um, so we're going to actually step into the, the first step is to see and get this loaded. Um, and then once we get it loaded, what options are there, what we need to remove, what we need to put in. And then in part two, we're actually going to start writing it. We're going to start modifying this, this already working module to customize for uh, PHP my admin. So since it's in that directory, and I can go in and um, either load path, the um, home MSF4 modules directory, modules, or I can simply exit and go back into Metasploit. And since it's in that .msf4 directory, since it's in that .msf4 slash modules directory, it'll actually automatically load in. This is a great way to share modules. So if you want to make it so that um, you have a bunch of your own custom modules that you keep everywhere, that .msf4 slash modules directory gets loaded everywhere. So you can um, rsync it across systems, that way you always have it, or BT sync it, or however you want. Um, and Metasploit itself will never overwrite that directory. So now if I search for PHP my admin, it didn't show up because I didn't change the module name. But if I use auxiliary scanner it's, uh, MSF minute, minute, you can see that the PMA login is there. If I type in info, the reason why it didn't show up is it still says dolabar CRM. So it's all there. So in part two, we're going to clean this up a lot, uh, make it nice and neat, and make, remove all the dolabar stuff, um, put in the PHP my admin things, and, and make this really work for a login module. And really, the best part about this is that you're using a template that's already there, so it's going to be um, a lot easier. You don't have to go from scratch and look everything up. Um, so tell us what you think. Email me at msf at hack5.org and stay tuned to Metasploit Minute at .com for more shows like these. And a huge thanks to everyone who's supported the show so far and in the future. We can, you can find more ways to donate and get awesome Metasploit swag at metasploitminute.com. Every dollar goes towards making this show better for you, and I am deeply grateful for that. So until next time, I'm Ubix, and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. Button pushed. Okay, ready? Hey there. Yeah, you. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate all the awesome feedback and support we've received from viewers exactly like you. Well, not as cool, but you know, you get the gist. If you haven't already checked it out, you could really help if you go over to the, our Patreon and support the show directly. If you can't, that's cool. A simple like or subscribe goes a long way too. Either way, thanks for watching, and we'll talk later, man. Take it easy.